no whistles, no stop. Um, I tell them it's it's intense from the time you nod your head. And uh, as a bullfighter, you know, working both freestyle and protection, I can tell you the most exciting thing and nerve wracking is when you're standing in front of that gate and you call for the bull. And it, it is the best, scariest moment of your life. And then it all just goes and then it's all, you know, like they were saying on the video, it's all, you know, reaction, you know, anticipation and just knowing what you're doing and doing it as long as it, a it, lot of us have. Here's something that, that didn't really get covered. You watch that on video and stuff and you see that, oh, that slow motion, you know, and that. You gotta remember something, the bull leaves there. And it, the first time I ever worked a bullfight um, was, um, Odessa, Texas, and I was like, well, I've seen this. You know, they're going to run out there and run over somebody. They're 40 miles an hour when yeah. they leave here. They're like, Whoa. I mean, it's when he calls from the time, if, yeah, well, you'll be probably, here, let's yeah. say, okay? If he, some bulls you'll set up here and Phil will call for it. Some bulls you'll be back there because you know they're going there. You want to take the fight to them because the more you're engaged with him, the higher your score is going to be. So if you're hey, and having to run down here and catch him and, and let him set up, that's not as exciting, if that makes sense. So Phil catches So if I'm here and I say, let me have him, and they open that gate, two, three, he's here. Yeah. There's not this, it's not this. Oh my God. Yeah, he's not marching <laughs> out looking around. Right. Right. Yeah, is this going to be, uh, where is someone to hit? No, they're like, whoa. Yeah, like they're, they're coming. coming. They know where you're Whoa. Going. You're gonna I mean, be. it's, it's uh, like. And it's just. It's dodging a car out yeah. here. It's and it's they're, they're coming car. for one thing, and you know when it goes right, it looks beautiful, and then sometimes it doesn't go so right. <laughs> yeah. and it looks beautiful for the crowd then because that's yeah. when you get the oohs and ahs. Yeah. Um, and, and one thing too, you know, talk on what Phil talked about getting hooked. You know, when you get scooped up or kind of set up a little bull, really throw you. Nine times out of ten, those hookings don't hurt. Yeah. When you see guys get thrown way up in the air, and that that that, that doesn't hurt. It's the ones you see the guys do get moved about that far, because that's when they're taking it off. Yeah, you know, they're not yeah. giving with it; they're they're taking it off. It's sort of like a, a, a wreck in NASCAR. When you see them guys flipping, that's dissipating energy. You know, we all know what happened to Dale when he stuck it in the wall. Everything stopped. You don't want that. That's why my job, also in the barrel, is to. I have a fine line of oh my gosh, do I go get him? Or, oh my gosh, do I wait? And and that's been something I've had to grow on in, in 17 years of doing this. And, and the transition from when I worked the, the protection here, what we call protection is during the bull ride, and we're protecting the bull riders. And then the freestyle, it's two direct opposite games. My job, when I'm in the barrel for protection, I'm sitting right here, and Phil's over here protecting his cowboy, because whether you buck off or you're 90 points, you're going to get... You're going to hit the ground, and you're vulnerable. You're on your back, or you're crawling to get up. Bill's job, he comes in, gets this bull's attention, distracts him, takes him out, okay? So when I'm doing that, I'm ready to help Phil no matter what. Hey, 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 hey! Let him look at me, let him hit me, roll me across the arena. When he's rolling me out through there, everybody up here is safe, okay? In turn, Phil comes and gets me, and I get to get back in the fight. Bullfighting is totally different. If I come in here just like that, and Phil's making rounds, and he's having fun, he's getting around here, and I come in here, hey, 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 what have I done? I've just pulled a 90-point bull a bull fight right off of this guy and caused it to be a 70. Does that make sense? I have to have a keen sense of, do I go, do I go? And I have to be so still. It is amazing that um, somebody asked me that the other day. said, I, I watched a bull fight the other day you were in. I was down in Mercedes. And the bull, like where you are, the guy is working literally right here where this is, and I'm sitting right there. And he never sees me. He never notices I'm there because I'm just a fixture. I never move. I'll have my handles. I'll have everything ready to go get Phil should he get in a bind, but you never move. And something I never do, and it's the weirdest thing, and I've started doing this, I never make eye contact with those animals when I don't need to. It's the craziest thing. If he, I've literally had them come by me just like this right here, and never noticed me. But it's almost like if you're gonna fight something, you make eye contact with it. And I always, I know where they are, but it's almost like it's, it's. If I don't look, they won't see me. If I don't look, they won't see me. Like the little kid hiding behind a <laughs> shovel. But it, it's so strange because they, they 
they're pretty proud of themselves, these, these, this breed of bull. When you see them, and you can tell when they're coming to you, you can tell. So what I always do is try not to ever entice them to come to me while Phil's working, because anything that pulls that bull off the field takes away points. So I'm always, I might be right here, and I'm watching, and I'm watching. I never move, and it's, you'll see me, I'll just be a, I'm, I'll do the mannequin, and I'll just sit there as quiet as I can, and I never look at him because it, it, to me it's almost like, who saw the movie The Horse Whisperer? Okay, when they, you, you see those shows, when you come up to an animal, when you come to any animal, a horse or whatever, if you reach up there like that, you know how they, they're always, you know, they're, but if you'll come up to one like this, and just let them know that you're not there to affect what they're doing, and, and you learn this about animals, but, when these bulls are working, I'll never, ever, because when you look at them in the eye, they're like, oh, you, you want, want some of this. Yeah, so 